this video we are actually going to learn how this cisco packet tracer will be downloaded and uh, for what purpose this Cisco Packet Tracer can be used. Let me tell you about the Cisco Packet Tracer first. Cisco Packet Tracer is actually a simulation tool developed by Cisco system. And this tool can be used for uh, like virtual simulation of the different network devices like routers, switches, and hubs and the topologies as well. And uh, if you want to learn like how the data can be communicated in between the multiple devices, this Cisco Packet Tracer will allow you to configure all of the devices in logical manner and a physical manner. So we will learn step by step before starting with the implementation of the Cisco Packet Tracer for the different topologies of the computer networks. Let's understand how you can download this. This is very important. So most of the students, I got the question from multiple students that uh, said that uh, we are not able to download the Cisco Packet Tracer, how we can configure Cisco Packet Tracer from where we can download it, right? So all these things are very important. We'll go step by step process. First of all, let me tell you how you can download this. You need to open any of the browser right from your computer system, any browser, okay? Here I have already mentioned download Cisco Packet Tracer uh, from Net Academy, right? So this Net Academy, this will allow you to download. If you will search this, you will this will allow you to go with the official website. You always have to download it from the official website, Cisco Networking Academy. So there are multiple courses uh, coming from the Cisco, Cisco, but we are actually working on the networking courses. So you will get this website. You need to click on the link which comes in front of you. And after clicking, this link will redirect you to the, to the Net Academy. You can see here the Net Academy uh, website is open. It is also Cisco Packet Tracer. Now you can see it's mentioned there on the title Cisco Packet Tracer, right? You can also explore the multiple courses right from here. Whatever the course, if you want to uh, get the certification of the multiple courses, you can explore such courses right from here. But we don't want any other course right now. We just want to download the Cisco Packet Tracer. Okay. So here you can set the language, what language you want to use for the Cisco Packet Tracer. I'm using English language. You can choose any other language as well. Now here you can see getting started with Cisco Packet Tracer. First of all, we need to start with the Cisco Packet Tracer. Later on, the other courses and other things are also there that you can uh, explore right from the same website. But before that, we need to download it. Okay, you just need to click on get started with Cisco Packet Tracer. And uh, one more thing, if uh, uh, you uh, will get some errors over there, like 404 four, four errors, sometimes we uh, got on the Cisco Packet Tracer while downloading, you don't need to worry about it. Just retry again and you will be redirected to the Net Academy website. Now, now we are at official website again. Uh, redirected to the downloading of Cisco Packet Tracer. Now, I have already chosen the language, which is English language. Now you can resume the course. I can resume the course right from here. So I'll click on the resume course, means the course I want to take. But course, I'm not going to conduct this. I'm not registering for course. I'm just downloading the Cisco Packet Tracer. On left side, you can see there is a menu. And in this menu, you might have seen this download Cisco Packet Tracer option is there. Once you will click on this, this page will be open. This page will be pop up on in front of you that 1.0.3 download Cisco Packet Tracer. Here is a link that from where you can download it. This, this link is very important and this link you can copy it somewhere else uh, or you can keep it in the notepad so that uh, next time you don't need to go through all this process. You'll directly click on the link and it will directly redirect you to the uh, downloading page. You need to click on this page. A new uh, page from the same website will be pop up in front of you. Now you can see it has been redirected to resources hub. There are multiple resources which are being provided from the Cisco. So this time we are actually exploring the the Cisco Packet Tracer for the multiple versions of an operating system. If you will scroll it down, you already have chosen. You can change the language as well. If you are from any other country, you can change the language right from this panel. And you download uh, uh, like options will be directly in front of you that learning resources. Now here you can see to obtain and install the copy of Cisco Packet Tracer, please follow these sample steps. Okay, these are the sample steps that you always need to follow. Here you can see it comes with three different operating system. One is Mac operating system, Ubuntu operating system, and Windows operating system. Whatever operating system you are you are choosing, you are you are running in your computer system, you need to uh, choose uh, the Cisco Packet Tracer for a desired operating system. But before that, you need to uh, log in on the same website then you will be able to download i've already logged in you can see here my account is already logged in you can log in by using your gmail account right from here so uh, before downloading you need to log in once it's logged in you need to click on the 
download Cisco Packet Tracer for Windows. I'm using Windows operating system, so I'll choose Windows operating system right uh, from here. So it will directly uh, redirect me to download page. Now my Cisco Packet Tracer is being downloaded. Okay, so it will take some time because it's of 228 MB. You just have to wait two to three minutes, depend upon your speed of uh, the internet that you're using. So if I have, I have already downloaded it, I'll just cancel this because uh, my Cisco Packet Tracer uh is already there in my system so i'll uh, let you know how you can install after downloading this you can see the cisco packet tracer is there you need to click on this uh cisco packet tracer and you go with the installation of the complete process cisco packet tracer 8.0 installed and if you want to uninstall the current version then you can go for this i have already installed this let me tell you how it looked like so i'll go with cisco packet tracer okay so you just need to wait uh until it gets started, let me tell you, our channel, this is a digital phone, Zunex, comes up every time it comes up with a new content on a computer network, cybersecurity, uh, research, IoT, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe our channel and keep uh, uh, the clicking on the bell icon for the recent contents. Thank you so much. So let's let me tell you, this is how your Cisco packet tracer will look like. This this is the actual. Uh, the interface where you can simulate the multiple network topologies where you can simulate where you can connect uh point to point network multi-point network whatever you want whatever you want in your real life that you can simulate over here it's a good platform being developed by cisco packet tracer where students teachers or anyone who is interested in cyber security interested in computer networks can learn a lot of things right from here so this is the main uh, page of Cisco Packet Tracer. You can see here it comes with the multiple uh, options right in front of you. You can see file uh, option is there. It's menu. We have an edit option. Uh, we have an uh, option uh, menu is there, which comes up with the sub, sub menus as well. We have a few option, tools option. We have an extensions as well. If you want to add an external extension or additional extension, you can add it right from here. So all these things are very important, very, very important for us because this thing will allow me to go with uh, the usage of Cisco Packet Tracer. It's a logical platform if you want to uh, take it in a uh, the physical manner, like how you are connecting multiple LANs. Let's take an example, your LANs are your two different networks are, are at two different locations, right? So you can go with the physical location. You can design like your home city. You can design your uh, work city here as well, right? So this, this uh, let's take an example here. It's a home city. I'll make another one that can be my uh, work city. So I'll connect both of them together by using the Cisco Packet Tracer. And I'll see how data can be transmitted in between the multiple devices and between the net multiple networks as well. So this is all the menu. From here, you can see here, you can uh, go with the options of... Uh, uh, the multiple things that you can delete if anything is wrong on your uh, this logical platform you can delete it right from here but this can allows you to go with the labeling of uh, anything that you want to label uh, for example i'm writing lan one right so lan one comes up with an ip address 10.10.10.10.0 so right so these these ip addresses are very important if you want to learn about an ip addresses like how IP addresses look like and what are the classes of an IP address, what are the range of an IP address, how network IDs and host IDs get changed. Uh, do visit our YouTube channel and there is a separate video for IP addresses that you can learn from uh, directly from our, uh, our YouTube channel. Now, the thing is very clear here. This labeling uh, tool can be used to label uh, whatever you are designing, you should label as well. Let's take an example of my PC. Am I inserting one PC? I'm using one end node over here. That is my computer. So for that computer, I'm assigning one IP address 10.10.0. 10.10.10.1. So this 10.10.1 will be a label for my PC. If there are 100 number of PCs, I will easily get to know what IP addresses has been assigned to this particular IP, a particular PC, that just to get to know what label has been assigned. So directly you will you need no need to check you no need to open the configuration of the pc then you will get to know what ip address is there if you have already assigned a particular uh, label to that particular pc so by this pc by this label i will get to know what is the ip address of my pc and i can directly test my connection by checking up the ip address right from the label over here right so this is all about the label so if you want to uh, go further 
there is a uh, coloring option as well if you are designing some network you can design the network for the different colors you can set right from the colors over here as well so this will allows you I'll, I'll let you know how these colors and how these boxes can be uh, used for uh, multiple lands or multiple networks that you are designing on the other side we have a pdu that is uh, the packet that you want to send packet packet is very important packet related video if you want to uh, learn about the packet if you want to learn about uh, uh, the segment if you want to learn about a frame there is a separate video in our youtube channel which will allow you or which will help you out to learn about what packet is packet is an actually data let me tell you a small description about a packet a packet is a small piece of information which carries multiple information like source information and destination information it can carries a small piece of information tcp address of sender tcp of a receiver a port address of a sender port address of a receiver this is all a header of the packet and in the inside this header this is there will be a value the value means the particular data that you want to send from a, uh, from one network to another network or up from one pc to another pc right this is the upper panel of cisco packet tracer and in this case this is the white area here you can simulate here you can design how your net network will look like how you are configuring the multiple devices together how pcs can be connected how wires can be used how, how all these things are very important just because you need to know what and where we have to use and how the multiple networks can be connected together this is the simulation platform right on the other side on the downside of the cisco packet tracer you can see there's uh, the options are available we have a network devices that you can choose network devices means we have a router we have a switch we have a hub right we have a wireless devices we have a securities we have a ban emulations as well all these devices can be used to connect all of them together so that you can design your own network if you'll go further we have an end devices and devices we have uh, a pcs we have a laptops we have a servers we have all these devices telephones tvs iot devices right iot devices can also be configured by using a cisco packet tracer so furthermore if i'm going with the connectors we have multiple connectors over here for the iot purposes we can use such connectors so that if, if i'm connecting my ac if i'm connecting my telephone if i'm connecting my camera so there are certain uh, uh, like uh, uh, port addresses are used there are certain port switches or connectors are used to configure all such devices together so that can be done with the help of this the most important the communication medium transmission medium as transmission medium is a very essential part in data communication because until and unless my transmission medium cannot be decided i cannot communicate right so it depends upon the osa model it, it once it goes to your communication medium then communication medium before coming to the next point we have a sender we have a receiver but how the sender and receiver will be connected this can be connected with the help of a transmission medium this transmission medium can be a wired or it can be a wireless or it can be an optical fiber cable it depends upon so we we are connecting through this wire and we will also come up with the wireless connections as well we'll start with the wire first of all we have an, an automatic wire as well cisco packet tracer will give you an, an automatic cable if you don't know what wire can be used in between uh, two different components or two different uh, hardware devices then you don't need to worry about it in cisco packet tracer we have one option that can allows you to connect both of them together by choosing an, an automatic cable but if you know what cable can be used let's take an example if i'm choosing the multiple devices which are different in nature then we can use copper straight through cable if we are if we know that what uh, two two devices are same like switch to switch are same so in this case we have a copper crossover cable so such cables can be used for the multiple purposes we will discuss one by one once we start once we start our simulating the network in cisco packet tracer so on the other side we have a uh, masculineous uh, things as well that can be uh like uh like chosen by you you can choose the different different routers from here you can choose the pc you can use the uh, laptop as well right so let's let's start with a small example peer-to-peer -peer network so this peer-to-peer -peer network will let you know how cisco packet tracer can be started 